From across the field touchdowns to no-look passes, Mahomes' playbook is just different from other quarterbacks. If you're not already obsessed with Mahomes, you soon will be, because his plays are not black and white. For the very first one, let me take you through the time he hit McCall Hardman for an insane bomb in Foxborough. This one is from the 2019 NFL season when we were all on the edge of our seats for that epic AFC Championship rematch between the Chiefs and the New England Patriots. The anticipation was through the roof. The Patriots were leading 7-3, and it seemed like they were about to regain possession of the ball. The Chiefs found themselves in a tight spot, facing a daunting 2nd-25 at the New England 48-yard line early in the second quarter. Things were looking grim, to say the least. But then, cue the magic of Patrick Mahomes. Despite being under relentless pressure, Mahomes didn't back down. He unleashed a pass, and guess what? He found his man, McCole Hardman, at the 15-yard line. Now here's where it gets spicy. Hardman pulled off some nifty moves, making a defender miss and sprinted his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Mahomes took what could have been a soul-crushing sack and turned it into a touchdown that not only put the Chiefs ahead, but also injected a massive dose of confidence into the Kansas City squad. That play right there was a momentum shifter of epic proportions, my friend. It's moments like these that make football so darn exciting and insane. Talking about insane clashes, do you remember the week two of the 2020 season against the Chargers? It was a showdown between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers, and boy, was it a memorable one. So imagine a young Justin Herbert gets the surprise of his life just minutes before kickoff, finding out he's going to face off against the defending Super Bowl champs. But you know what? Herbert didn't back down. He came out slinging, putting on a dazzling display against Kansas City. Now here's where it gets real interesting. Patrick Mahomes, the maestro of those jaw-dropping on-the-run throws, decided to welcome Herbert to the big league, NFL style. Mahomes did it with a 54-yard bomb to Tyreek Hill. That throw was so jaw-dropping that even our NFL expert dubbed it as the best toss of Mahomes' young career. But hold on, the story doesn't end there. Herbert, trailing 17-9 in the fourth quarter, was hoping for one of the biggest upsets in the 2020 NFL season. But with Mahomes on the other side, you know that's unlikely to happen. With just 13 minutes left on the clock and the ball at their own 46-yard line, Mahomes decided to cook up some magic. We had ourselves a touchdown. The crowd went wild and we were in for an overtime thriller. But here's the kicker. The Chargers had us all thinking they'd snatch the victory, but Kansas City, as they so often do, found a way to escape with the 23-20 win after kicking a field goal in in overtime. What a game, what a throw, and what a day for football fans everywhere. But I can't talk about the best plays of his career and not mention the one from Super Bowl 54. The Kansas City Chiefs were up against the formidable San Francisco 49ers, and things weren't looking too rosy. But guess what? Mahomes is all about turning the tide and making magic happen when it counts the most. You know what else counts? You as a subscriber. I'd love to have you with me as I share the wildest NFL content, so hit the button. Anyways, back to Super Bowl 54. In the fourth quarter, when the pressure was at its peak, he orchestrated a comeback that will be remembered for ages. Mahomes completed 26 out of 42 passes for 286 yards and tossed two touchdowns. I mean, the guy was as cool as a cucumber under pressure. Those crucial throws in the final quarter, they were like arrows hitting the bullseye, turning the game in favor of the Chiefs. And the best part, this victory ended a 50-year Super Bowl drought for the Kansas City Chiefs. But him coming through wasn't really shocking. He's done it earlier, too. Remember the 2018 Week 4 game versus Denver Broncos? This was Patrick Mahomes' first regular season as the Kansas City Chiefs' starting quarterback, and boy, did he make a statement. The Chiefs were in a tight spot, down 23-20 to their AFC West rivals, the Denver Broncos. The clock was ticking and the pressure was on. It was the kind of moment that separates the greats from the rest. And guess who was chasing Mahomes? The elusive Von Miller, one of the most feared edge rushers in the game. Mahomes rolled to his left, and just when it looked like Miller got him, he pulled off a move that had everyone's jaws dropping. With Miller wrapped around his legs like a clingy koala, he threw a six-year pass to Tyreek Hill with his left hand. Left-handed, mind you. In the end, Kansas City emerged victorious, 27-23. And 2018 was a year filled with Mahomes magic. I mean, there was also the Week 14 game versus Baltimore Ravens. So let me set the scene for you. It's second and one, just 90 seconds left in the first half. Mahomes gets the snap in the shotgun. And as he drops back, he's like a maestro conducting a symphony. He scrambles in the pocket, steps up, and then here's the magic trick. He executes a no-look pass. That's right, he's looking one way and the ball goes the other way, right into the hands of Demarcus Robinson for a 17-yard gain and a first down. What made this play even more incredible was that Mahomes got the entire defense moving in one direction while he delivered a pinpoint pass to Robinson. The defenders were left scratching their heads, wondering where the ball even came from. And here's the kicker, Mahomes had been practicing that no-look pass since his college days at Texas Tech. It finally paid off. But the magic didn't stop there. In the dying moments of the game, with just 53 seconds left, Mahomes tied it all up with a 5-yard touchdown pass to Damian Williams, sending the game into overtime. 
And guess what? The Chiefs went on to win 27-24, kicking a field goal in their first possession and shutting down the Ravens. And even more insane was the 2019 AFC Championship game against the Tennessee Titans. You know, Patrick Mahomes is known for his rocket arm, but he's also got some serious wheels. The Chiefs were trailing 17-13, with just 23 seconds left in the first half. Mahomes decided it was time to unleash his inner track star. He rolled left, and what followed was nothing short of extraordinary. At the Tennessee 27-yard line, Mahomes took off like a gazelle, leaving one defender in the dust, but he wasn't done yet. He pulled off a slick hesitation move that would make any basketball player jealous, and then he turned on the Jets. Tiptoeing along the sideline like a tightrope walker, he sprinted downfield and got met at the 6-yard line. But here's where it gets crazy. With the Titan defender trying to rip the ball out of his hands, Mahomes pulled a spin move straight out of a video game and dove for the end zone. Touchdown! It was a 27-yard rushing touchdown, and he made not one, not two, but five Tennessee defenders miss along the way. And you know what's even more important? The Chiefs took a 21-17 lead going into halftime, and from there, they never looked back. They clinched their first ever AFC Championship and booked their ticket to the Super Bowl after 50 long years. Oh, and don't forget that honorable mention, a 60-yard touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins that sealed the deal and put the Chiefs up 35-17 in the fourth quarter. This game had it all, speed, athleticism, and some Mahomes magic. Now this next one is equally magical, but unfortunately it didn't lead to a win. But hey, don't judge it before you see it. This is from the Super Bowl 55 showdown against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was like a circus out there, and Patrick Mahomes was the star performer, even if the final score didn't quite go his way. The Buccaneers' defense was giving the Chiefs all they could handle, and Mahomes was constantly on the run, trying to escape the relentless pressure. And to make things even more dramatic, he had a pesky toe injury to deal with, adding an extra layer of challenge. Now let's set the stage. It's third and nine, and the Chiefs are down 31 to nine early in the fourth quarter. From the Tampa Bay 12-yard line, Mahomes takes the snap and is instantly under siege. He scrambles back to the 30-yard line, racing towards the sideline with Shaq Barrett hot on his heels. It looks like Mahomes was toast, but in a moment of sheer magic, he spun around and heaved the ball to the corner of the end zone. Byron Pringle almost came up with it in a dramatic dive. In the very next play, Mahomes was again running for his life, dodging Bucks defenders like a ninja. He runs all the way back to the 30-yard line, gets tripped up, and as he's falling to the ground, he slingshots the ball while practically horizontal, hovering above the turf. The ball hits Daryl Williams in the face mask and drops to the ground. It might not have been the Chiefs' night in the end, but it was a testament to Mahomes' greatness. Even in defeat, he put on a jaw-dropping display of athleticism and determination that left us all in awe. And before you think your fave team is safe from his magic, no sir. Let's rewind to week 16 of the 2018 season when the Kansas City Chiefs took on the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday Night Football. Now, to truly appreciate this incredible play, we have to keep in mind Patrick Mahomes' background as a former baseball player. His days as a shortstop were about to pay off big time. So here's the setup. It's first and 10 from the Seattle 25. Mahomes, like a magician, escapes the pocket, and what happens next is just pure wizardry. Mahomes, not fully set in motion, unleashes an absolutely ridiculous sidearm throw that defies all logic. The degree of difficulty on this throw was off the charts. It's the kind of throw that makes you scratch your head and wonder if he has some secret superpowers. And why did he pull it off so seamlessly? Well, it's safe to say that his baseball background played a huge role. The result? A touchdown to Charkhandrick West that left everyone, including the Seahawks fans, with their jaws on the floor. And the best part of watching him play is that he can make magic happen anywhere, even in the snow. You know, snowy weather can be a real game changer, especially when it comes to passing the football. The slippery conditions make it tough to grip the ball. The wind can play tricks with its flight, and receivers struggle to keep their footing. But you see, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs decided to throw his snow game into the mix. And guess what? It didn't phase Mahomes one bit. I'm talking about week 13 of the 2019 season when the Chiefs were facing off against Denver. The weather gods decide to throw some snow into the mix, making life on the field a bit more challenging. But did Mahomes let that stop him? Absolutely not. With the first and 10 at the Denver 41 early in the game, the Chiefs decided to dial up a deep pass to Tyreek Hill. Now, keep in mind, the conditions were far from ideal, but Mahomes, like a true super athlete, drops back and delivers an absolute dime to Hill in stride for an easy touchdown. And now, ending this with the icing on the cake for Patrick Mahomes in his incredible 2018 season. You see, back then, there were doubts about whether the Chiefs had made the right call by giving them the starting job instead of Alex Smith, but Mahomes quickly put those concerns to rest with an MVP caliber year, completing a whopping 50 touchdown passes and over 5,000 yards passing. 
Now let's talk about that historic 50th touchdown pass. It was in week 17 against the Oakland Raiders, and Mahomes wanted to make sure he hit the milestone in style. With the Chiefs comfortably up 21-3 in the third quarter, they faced a third and 10 from their own 11. This is usually a situation where you'd expect a conservative play call to avoid any big mistakes. But the Chiefs had full faith in Mahomes' arm, and he didn't disappoint. He calmly stepped up in the pocket and then unleashed an absolute bomb to Demarcus Robinson. Robinson caught it just over midfield and then turned on the afterburner, sprinting all the way for the touchdown. It wasn't just a touchdown, it was history making, and Mahomes added some serious style points to it. But if you really want to see him destroy teams in style, check out this video where we go into all the teams he's dominated ever since he joined the league.